So staying in that feeling place. Yeah. You are one self, united and secure in light and joy and peace. You are God's son, one self, with one creator and one goal to bring awareness of this oneness to all minds that true creation may extend the allness and the unity of God. Wow. You know, in our family on TTC and HRJ and our groups, it's so beautiful because you can feel spirit sweep through the room and you listen. And a lot of times I can, I used to close my eyes all the time and I'm opening them more, but I'm recognizing that the spirit is speaking and that somebody else is speaking truth and love is being expressed and shared and that that's my identity. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling and witnessing and the feeling state that the one self is expressing. It might look like it's coming through these mouthpieces or bobbleheads on a, in a Zoom room, but that's me. I'm one with that. And yeah. that, and the impetus, the, the intelligence behind that is God. Yeah, yeah. And it's enough to crack our heart open. Oh. Right, right there, right then. Yeah. Just when we see that, when we, when we see there's no separation, yeah. that we are one soul. Right. Yeah. And only love, the wanting to join with another, when the motive is love, yeah. that's the only way to know that we are one self. Yeah. Nothing other than love will do it, but, but love does it. The love that you experience is the proof that we are that one self. Yeah. Oh, I love this. You are one self, complete and healed and whole with power to lift the veil of darkness from the world and let the light in you come through to teach the world the truth about itself. You are one self in perfect harmony with all there is and all that there will be. You are one self, the holy son of God, united with your brothers in this self, united with your father in his will. Feel this one self in you and let it shine away all your illusions and your doubts. This is yourself, the son of God himself, sinless as its creator with his strength within you and his love forever yours. You are one self, and it is given you to feel this self within you and to cast all your illusions out of the one mind, which is this self, the holy truth in you. Do not forget today, we need your help your little part in bringing happiness to all the world. And heaven looks to you in confidence that you will try today. Share then its surety, for it is yours. Be vigilant. Do not forget today. And I can feel his great need of us and all the love and patience bringing us the course and his perfect love for us, you know, could we not at least give him this and thank you? Yeah, I'm really feeling it too. Yeah. Thank you. Throughout the day, do not forget your goal. 
Repeat today's idea as frequently as possible. And understand, each time you do so, each time you do so, someone hears the voice of hope. The stirring of the truth within his mind, the gentle rustling of the wings of peace. Oh, boy. Oh, sis, that's just cracked a memory for me. Oof. Oh, my Lord. Brought up a lot of emotion, too. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to share it? Can I? <clears throat> Are we gone? Have we gone over time? This is a very long lesson. Oh, it's... Uh, I'm going to try and condense it then. Ooh. You want me to finish this paragraph off and then you share? Yeah, yeah good idea. Your own acknowledgement you are oneself, united with your father, is a call to all the world to be at one with you. To everyone you meet today, be sure to give the promise of today's idea and tell him this. You are oneself with me, united with our creator in this self. I honor you because of what I am and what he is, who loves us both as one. Wow, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, sis. Thank you for joining. Thank you, beautiful family, for joining us in this. Yes. Ah. We have no idea the impact that one genuine second of dropping into our heart and really accepting this can do. We have no idea through the limited ego of how much light floods in not just into us, but through us <clears throat> to others. You know, we have no idea. Through the ego, we have no idea. And um, I'd just like to share an example of something that happened. And, you know, I'm, I'm fairly sure, I'm not certain, but I'm fairly sure it was this lesson that I was doing at the time. And... I am, I think I probably physically in the dream was in Belgium at the time when I, when this event occurred. And I, I do remember joining with Jesus when, when he, uh, you know, when he was giving us this message, right? And I remember breaking down and crying, going, I want to help to heal the world. I don't want my brothers and sisters to be in suffering any longer. I mean, I really was on my knees with that and that feeling of wanting to join everyone, yeah. And that night I had a very, very uh, real dream, like seemed to be extremely real almost a visionary dream. In fact, it probably was a visionary dream. And I didn't understand it at first, but <laughs> as it unpacked itself, the impact of the dream really landed. And what it was was <clears throat> in the dream I saw two things occurred. First, I heard. I heard the sound of what seemed like soldiers marching right so I heard that sound and it was the sound of thousands and thousands and thousands of soldiers marching 
The second thing I recall was these huge gates, huge, brilliantly lit, but not by a false means, not by, it was lit from the inside. The gates were lit from the inside, all right? Everything was at first grey and then came to life in vivid colour, colours that I guess the human senses can't, can't understand and can't really see. But in the dream that all came alive, I was hearing these soldiers marching. And then the next thing that happened is I was hearing the sounds of rejoicing so there was much partying going on, right, like mega rejoicing. And I was, of course, curious, was, what is going on? I had the feeling of grace. Grace had overtook me, you know. Um, so I was in a state of grace, but not in a state of understanding what was going on. So I was watching, 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 and I noticed that I was on one side of this humongous, surreal gate, gateway, and that these soldiers were walking towards the gate from the other side. So they were coming towards me. And um, when, I, when I actually I saw them, my heart just burst open. I realised I was one with them. I really was one with them. And as they marched through the gate, they were throwing their hats up. You know, it was victory, like major, major victory, state of grace. They were also in a state of grace, these thousands and thousands of soldiers. And as they walked through the gate, I, I was brought to my knees because... They were thanking me. They were thanking me. So it was revealed to me in that moment that uh, what I had, what I had done in my simple life was to join in forgiveness. They had accepted that forgiveness, and felt like the world was healed. That's what it felt like to me. And all that came from this lesson. So I'm cutting the dream short, but I'm just sharing with you. Yeah. That the impact was huge. And really, in a way, it wasn't a dream. It was truth. Of course, it's a dream. But there was a massive, massive healing. Just because one person... <laughs> had accepted the atonement to that degree. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Oh, well, sis, thank you. You know, I had that one similar coming through the jungle out into the light and the people were waving and all that, but oh. not important. But what's amazing is what I could feel is that when you, when you saw, when you looked at the soldiers coming through and you realized that they were part of you one with you and that they were thanking you for healing their mind because you had done it you know <clears throat> you can feel like that's the whole point of this transcending a selfish privatized mind and that in the great love for the sonship recognizing that's me that's me he's me she's me this is we're just all one self and selflessly healing my mind so that we can come back together in that union, you know, and what's the incentive for all of that? Again, it's, it's love. Oh, there's nothing higher than that. There's no, there is no experience in this dream, nothing, nothing that can even touch the hem of that. That's it. That's it. Oh my God. Talk about joining. Thank you. Talk so about you. union and talk about celebration. I mean, all the angels in heaven were celebrating. Yeah.
it becomes unbearable to be separated from the breath, the sonship when you feel the love you just want the love and the love grows and expands and you know that's home and that's truth and then to go back to a compartmentalized privatized limited squelching sense of self is not it's um it's unbearable the stress and strain and so highly unnatural it's the opposite of what the ego tells us so thank you for staying if you're still with us i just want to Thank you. I hope that you were able to join and receive the transmission. And I trust that you have. And we just want to thank you for your patience in unpacking these. Uh, we could read right through them and we would miss the holographic, the deep feeling state of these lessons. And that's what we want to convey to you. So if you stayed with us, thank you. And we love you and appreciate you very much. Yeah, as it's, that's it, sis, isn't it? It's joining at the heart level, <laughs> even if the mind doesn't understand. Yeah, that's that's the miracle. Thank you. Thanks for staying with us. This lesson has now been fully given. Yeah, and received. It can't be given unless it's received. Yeah, I'm feeling the blessing that you all provided me so that I could unpack this lesson with you so that I could receive it for myself. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.